In this session, we're going to take a look at some really easy techniques that we can use in Corel Draw to create artistic or distressed artistic effects for our photographic images that we can use in our t-shirt designs and other designs in Corel Draw. You know, if we look on the retail shelves in fashion and see what's trending, and we can understand that, you know, that's the type of design that we want to be able to create working in Corel Draw for our t-shirts and graphics. I mean, you take a look at a lot of what's going on in retail, and you can see this look. I mean, here's this design from Aeropostale, kind of a street, kind of roughed out, grayscale artistic look on it, but we know that this started out as an image. We want to be able to make the same type of effects working in Corel Draw, and it's really easy to do. All I'm going to do to go ahead and get started here is I'll go ahead and take this Broadway image and I'll duplicate this here and I'll duplicate it again so we can see it side by side as we start to work on the effect. Now this is really easy. You probably weren't even aware of this. You probably never seen anything like this before in Corel Draw. But I'll go ahead and start by just taking the image. I'll copy and paste that. I'm going to go to Effects. I'm going to go to Transform and I'll click on Invert. Once I've done that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to Transparency through the Interactive Tools. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select uniform and I'm going to come down here I'm going to select color dodge and then I'm going to slide this all the way down to zero. My next step I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to bitmaps and then I'm going to go to blur and then I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. We'll go ahead and preview this here currently at nine pixels. We'll click on preview and we can see that conversion to a sketched effect. Now this is a dark image and it works very well for this effect and you can see how it kind of brings out the contrast when you apply it, especially in the darker tones. And in the mid-tones, it gets a little bit lighter. Now, you can also adjust this just by changing the Gaussian blur and hitting Preview and change the way in which the effect is being applied to your graphic. Now, once you've applied an effect like this, you can do something like going to Bitmaps, come down here to Creative, and we'll go to Scatter. I've got that set up at 61 to 61, select OK, and you can see that effect now. Then I can even do something like go ahead and select this, go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, we'll go to 300 dpi, don't need transparent background, empty aliasing is OK. Then I'll go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. And then I could actually take the image, and I'll go ahead and set this to straight here. And I could darken it, or change, and adjust its contrast, as you can see there. You can do a lot of really cool effects with those steps very easily. Now, looking at something like Jimi Hendrix here, I can give him an artistic look using the same path or using the same techniques, but doing a couple of other things. Go ahead and take this image, put these side by side. I'll go ahead and copy this, paste this in, then I'll go to Effects, Transform, Invert. I'll go back and set my transparency again. Transparency, and we'll go to Uniform. Go to Color Dodge, set this back to zero. Go to Bitmaps, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Go ahead and preview that. And you start getting the effect there. I'm going to bring out some more blur on that. And that's a little bit too much there. And that's really pretty good right there. And I'll go ahead and select OK. Now there's a tool that I use a lot and it's called the Boundary Tool in Corel Draw. Now you won't find it in your workspace, but you can add it and I'll show you how to do that here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Tools just to show you how to set this up. We'll go to Customization. We'll go to Commands. Let that load. Then we'll go to All. And then you can scroll down here and find the Boundary Tool right here. And all you have to do is just Drag that out into your workspace, release it, select OK. Then you could actually put that up here, just left click and drag it right into your toolbar. Now I've already got one set there, but we'll go ahead and use that. Now what that's going to do is when I click on it, it's going to create a boundary around the image that I just created the blur with for the effect. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this and I'm going to come down to a texture fill. Here I am under samples with aerial clouds, very nice effect. I'm just going to change the light blue here to a black. And I'm going to change that light shaded blue there to a white. Click on Preview. Click on OK and set that up as a fill. Next thing I'll do is I'll come over here to Transparencies on that. I'm going to set that up as a uniform. And you can see the effect there. It's looking really nice. I'm going to change that to Color Burn, as you can see there, and then slide this back to zero. And you can see the effect I'm starting to get in there. 
Now one of the interesting things we can do is we can come down here to the interactive fill tool, select that, and that will change the pattern of the fill. As you can see there, and you can see the effect that I'm getting. And I could give that like a painted sketch stroke look going right through there. So you can see working with these really easy tools, you know, the transparency, the color dodge, the color burn, the blur, etc. I can go through creating very, you know, artistic looking distressed grunge types of effects very easily working with black and white photographs here in Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.